Good afternoon, everybody. Joe Salamanca here again with Restaurant Highlight. I'm taking you to my five favorite places to eat in San Marcos, where I've been going for the past 10 years since I've lived here. Okay, let's go. I chose Canali Thai for my number five spot. It's owned by a family that has built a reputation for great food in their first location, a few hundred feet from where they moved to a few years ago. It's conveniently located on Mission Road right off the Woodland Parkway exit on Highway 78. Hey guys, I'm here at Canali Thai over here in San Marcos. So we ordered a few things. We ordered Pad Thai with chicken. We ordered the papaya salad, Lao style spicy both of them spicy so we'll see okay and we also got some Thai tea. so we just got the papaya salad last out wow you can really smell the fish sauce in there that fish sauce they did mention it was going to be a little bit fishy, but I'm okay with this sauce. Oh yeah, okay. Let's just go right in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very fishy. Really rich umami flavor. And we get that heat right at the end. Oh man. Oh, I think that heat really starting to kick in. Mm. Let me tell you about the spices here. Some bald chili, some sesame oil, chili oil in there. This is just the sambal chili base. This is just the powder, chili powder that's probably also in here besides chili oil. And then this, this right here, this is where the heat and magic is at. I'm putting this on that and the pad thai. Let's go. We just got the pad thai in. So again, we got the chicken with pad thai, five number five spicy. Uh, we got a little bit of peanut, green onion. You can see the egg in there too. Um, the lime on the side. And of course that sauce that's giving that, that nice color. And you can actually see some of that chili flake that's in there. That's probably where a lot of that spice is coming from. So. Oh, that sauce. That sauce right there is pretty good. Peanut, a little bit of acidity from the lime. The nice softness of the egg. Oh, good. About this time when I just enjoy the flavor of the pad thai without any additional spices, you kind of want to really start to add your condiments. Shout out to Mark Weens. Mm. Oh my god, I probably shouldn't have done that. Our meal here at Canali Thai, my number five place on my list of top five places to go in San Marco. This restaurant first actually had a small place up over here, right next to the smoke shop over here. Uh, it was a smaller location, had maybe about like nine to ten tables, but it was always busy. So busy enough that they ended up opening up this bigger restaurant. Really happy for them. They moved here a few years ago. You can get Grubhub here to go, DoorDash, any of these places. If you live in San Marcos, you can get some of the food here to go. They do a lot of to go food business here, so you got to come check it out. Coming here since high school, I'm really proud to be you know, kind of supporting these guys and what they do. So good luck to them. 
and let's go to our next place. Number 4, San Alejo Vine and Tap. Located in the small city of San Alejo Hills, you can come here to grab a glass of wine, beer, or even some good food. I just finished having a couple beers over here at uh, San Alejo Vine and Tap. I had a Virgin Beers, the Trivana IPAs. I also had the Culver City IPA, and that was really nice. While you're in the area, don't forget to check out the city center. There's a lot of places to walk around, the beautiful fountain to see, places to sit, and a lot of trees to hang out here. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here at Flippin' Pizza, just across the street from Cal State San Marcos. One of the best places to come to get pizza by the slice, grab a beer, and maybe hang out and study. So let's go inside and grab a slice. Number three, Flippin' Pizza, located across the street from Cal State San Marcos. I just got my beer. Um, we got a two slice plus a beer for like two bucks. Two dollar press teeth. It's good. We're here at Flipping Pizza, my number three place to eat in San Marcos. I really like this place because of their dough. I also like it just because of their deals that they have. You can get two slices of pizza here and get a beer for just $12. That's a really solid deal, especially if you're in college. I can come here on my break when I was in class. So I would, I was at, when I was going to school at Cal State for business, I would come here during my breaks. Um, I'd grab a couple slices, grab a beer, study, and it made studying more fun to me. I mean, you, you gotta make studying fun. If you don't like studying, then you, you gotta make it fun. Smoke some weed, drink some beer, whatever. You gotta get it done, you get it done. Got our pizza. Triboro, we'll see right here. And a whetstone. Let's eat. So this is their whitestone pizza. It had ricotta cheese on it and no pizza sauce, so it's got a different little flavor complex and of course the That was Flippin' Pizza, my number three place to eat and drink in San Marcos. Flippin' Pizza is not the only restaurant located right across the street from Cal State. There's also Urge Common House, which we're gonna head to now. Hey everybody, we are at my number two place to eat slash drink in San Marcos. We're at Urge Common House, located right off of Barham Drive, across the street from Cal State San Marcos by alumni. If you're in the area, if you're coming down to San Marcos, come here to grab a drink, a beer, some good food, or go bowling. Let's go check it out. We are here at Urge Common House, and we were just sat at the bar, posted up. Uh, the bar is open to so definitely come check out. I've honestly never sitting here at a table. Uh, we've done the bar, we've done bowling, uh, but the bar is definitely where you got our drinks. Very tiki style. I got like the tiniest beer I'd ever seen. Uh, it's a five ounce of the uh, peer pressure. Mm, yummy. How's your How's your drink? Tropical. Let's imbibe. Urge Common House is owned by the three local brothers. Don't forget to check out their other locations in Rancho Bernardo and in Oceanside. My favorite place, Brothers Provisions. Check it out. Hey everybody, so I'm in the patio of Urge Common House here in San Marcos. On the outside here, you can see to your right, they have Bochi Bar and Cornhole. We're in the middle of the Cornhole course right here, actually. Um, and in the back, so they got Bochi Ball, Cornhole, and they just got a whole patio. During the summertime, the garages up here behind me open up, and they open up the, the bar for the back room. 
they only use plastic glasses for the cups for the outside. So just be prepared to only get plastic cups if you order a beer outside. Otherwise, if you're ordering a beer inside, you're gonna get it in a glass glass. So don't be surprised when you get a little plastic family glass for when you go outside. It's because they know you're drunk and you might break it. So don't forget to come out here and hang out. If you're looking to hang out here in their back bar, feel free to enjoy their patio. Just remember that there's no smoking. So that concludes our little segment here at Urge Gastro Pub here in San Marcos. Our final stop for our number one place to go in San Marcos to eat and drink is gonna be the Bellows, just located a little south from our location. So we're gonna finish up here at this brewery and then we're gonna head on over. Let's go. Number one on my top five places to eat and drink in San Marcos, The Bellows. Brought to you by local restaurateur Ivan Darazin, The Bellows is an artisanal venture bringing San Marcos fine cuisine, whiskeys, and wine. Hey everybody, I am here at The Bellows here located in San Marcos, right in the Village Plaza, right across from Rancho Tesoro and right across the street from Cal State San Marcos. Here you can get the best whiskey in town, either the best whiskey sour or a great selection of whiskeys in house because obviously they're a whiskey bar. So we just ordered the charcuterie plate with three different types of salami. So the three different types of salami that we got are all different kind of textures. So this one, this one, and this one are gonna be a little bit more meatier because they're more on the thicker side, right? You can see here, a little bit thicker, but, but this salami is a lot thinner, you know? And the chef said that the, the reason why it was a lot thinner is just because of the, like, the, the consistency. You know, you could put a thing based on like this in your mouth. It melts in your mouth. Taste the saltiness and the meatiness of the salami. It just kind of like a symphony of fat and meat in your mouth. Like, mm. So we just ordered the clams with Spanish chorizo. We just got it in, but I went to town. I took everything out already. There's the clams here. All the shells are done. All the clams are in here. I mean, you can see here, there's like one there, all here to the side, a little bit of chorizo, right? And then we got all this bread here. Let's finish the rest of the eat. Number one on our top five list in San Marcos, places to eat, the Bellows in San Marcos. I ended up getting the Yamazaki 12 year Manhattan. Cheers. It's like sweet, a little bit smoking. I honestly think I just ate a little bit of a maple glazed donut. I'm not really sure. Oh, wow. that's it thank you so much for watching my top five places to eat and drink in san marcos don't forget to hit like and subscribe below and follow my page for more videos thank you for watching and see you next time